Wow. Postcard picture, perfect. Hey all, Russ here over here at TV. Welcome. Wasn't that sunrise pretty? That is one of the best things about the desert. Beautiful sunrises and sunsets. Even with a few clouds like that. That was gorgeous. We're on uh, Highway 95. We're heading south. We're south of Quartzite. We're going to go check out something. <laughs> Someone put it online a couple days ago on Facebook around Quartzite. We gotta go check it out. It's like a big petroglyph. No overnight camping. Okay, I just took pictures of a sunrise. Let's get going. I actually know of the area. It's close to the Kofa Mountain Wildlife Refuge. And it's uh, off, well, I think it's Palm Canyon Drive. There's a bunch of palm trees. Once you get all the way back into the re wildlife refuge, there's like a big canyon with palm trees. We're not going to go in that far because you almost need four wheel to get in here. But I checked this thing out on Google Maps. I kind of did some research on it. And all, I didn't find a lot. Anyway, you're going to see it too. All right, it's early morning. The sun's just coming up, so uh, I'll film what I can getting back in here. What a pretty day. Once again, perfect temperatures. Okay, this road here, it'll take you all the way down to Yuma in Mexico. Matter of fact, we're... What? 60 miles from the Mexico border. <laughs> On the right, that is all the proving grounds. That's all military stuff. Been going on there for years. But also I found online too, you can actually camp. This is dispersed camp area before you get into the refuge. It's just regular BLM. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I see the sign. All right, here we are. Make a left here. I already see rigs camping. This might be a little hidden treasure here for camping. There's their sign. Because the wildlife refuge doesn't start for, it's at least four miles back in here. So this is just regular BLM. Tell you what, I'm going to stop a second. We'll go, I'll go grab a picture of the sign on the road. Sun is just coming up. Kofa National Wildlife Refuge in Palm Canyon. And that's way back there at the, where the mountains is. Now when I map this out, we're about three miles. Back to that spiral thing. There's 95, there's the van. Yay. <laughs> I've, this is fun. I've, I've never explored this. I like finding new stuff. Alright, what do you say? Let's go find it. There's a little Class C. That's a rental. And a nice rough dirt road. That's why I never came down here. I knew I need to buggy to get all the way back into the wildlife thing. We'll do that another time. We're going to find a spiral petroglyph. A few rigs camping right here. This road's really rough. Check that out. They got horse trailers. So I'm, I bet this is a good, yeah. Horses, huh? 
because there's all kinds of trails that Kofa Wildlife Refuge is really popular. We'll have to explore that. I'll bring the buggy down here. Actually, I could camp up by the main highway and just ride the buggy back and go all the way back in. Because that wildlife refuge, you, you can do quite a bit of things back there. I think you can tent camp too. I apologize for the sun being right in the camera. On the way out, we'll see this area a lot better. We should be getting fairly close to that spiral. There's some young folks probably out exploring. What a pretty area out here. Definitely have to come back to this one. A few more rigs up here camping. Yeah, I can only do about 5 10 miles an hour over these bumps. Tearing the van up. Rattling the cupboards. <laughs> oh. I think I see it. It's on the right. There's no sign. Has to be it. There's not a sign or nothing. You're going to see it in a minute. It's going to be weird. <laughs> this is a mystery. And once again, I looked up online. All I've seen, there's a lot of vlogs and blogs about it. No one knows how it was made. It's supposed to be uh, about mythology and you walk the circle and find your inner peace or whatever. <laughs> Let me get parked and we're going to check this thing out. There's RVs camping all around this thing. Get out of that direct sun. Here you go. There it is. If anyone knows how this thing was made, let me know. I don't know. I couldn't find hardly any information except for just visitors and blogs and blogs and all that. It's like a big spiral petroglyph. All right, let's go have some fun. Wow, it's not as big as what I thought. Now, the online post I seen was about a funeral service here. The, their family came down. You're supposed to walk around the spiral to the center, and then they got leaf stuff there. I'll just walk in between the humps here. Be careful. Look at this thing, I mean, it's pretty precise. Little flag, trinkets, music CD, flowers. Wow, what is this thing? Huh. Kind of weird, huh? Oh, over here's the entrance. This is where you're supposed to start. I'm not going to walk this whole thing. <laughs> it's where you go in. Definitely Google this thing. My goodness. That's something. Well, we got to get another look at this thing.
Wow, look at this. That is almost like a perfect circle. How in the heck did they make this? And it stands a weather. This is just regular BLM land. This has nothing to do with uh, the wildlife preserve or anything. It's, we're still a mile away from there. There's the road we came in. Look at all the people camping. So you can camp here. Check out the spiral. Then here, if you're real adventurous, head back in uh, where the mountains are here, back into the wildlife preserve. Because I know that preserve, it has hiking trails, four-wheel. They're real limited on the four-wheel. I remember talking to a ranger, and they, they protect that thing pretty good. It's supposed to be a visitor center back there, too, I think. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know at this one. It's huge. Who knows? Check them out online. Look how flat this is. And then you got this big old spiral. Goodness. Kind of like the Bows Fisherman and Taglias and the ones up around Quartzsite and Blythe. A true mystery. Someone's got to know. Plus you can camp right here. Well, if you get a chance, get on down here. It's only about a half hour drive south of Quartzsite. Well, a little farther coming down this dirt road. Well, that's interesting. Definitely want to come back to, I'll definitely come back. All the old dusty nugget down here. And that way we can go all the way back into that wildlife refuge. That's always been on the list. There's a big canyon back there called Palm Canyon. It's full of palm trees in the middle of the desert. I think there was Signal Peak or some kind of peak that people hike up to. It's supposed to have a beautiful view. And there's other entrances into the wildlife preserve way down by Yuma and other locations. Ton of history here. Very historic. Okay, back along the bumpy road. Surprisingly, I got four bars on the cell. Pretty good. You know, if you keep going a little farther south, uh, down 95, it, there's also that Border Patrol check station down there. There's a big uh, blimp that has radar. They check the desert for... Uh, traffic and all that kind of stuff. Kind of cool, really. The fun trip would be head down, down to Yuma. That wouldn't be bad either. Also be fun to head down uh, to Los Algodonas. You can never get across the border. That'd be cool. Yuma, Algodonas, all that. It's just a fun place to visit. Get back on 95. This is one busy highway. It's the main highway in this whole region that connects I-10 clear down to uh, Mexico. Very busy road. Be sure to check out the next video. The journey continues. Talk soon.